Welcome back. In the previous video, we successfully imported all the data into the data model. The next step is to define and create relationships. We are currently in the data view of the model. Now click on diagram view right here. At the bottom right, you can also switch between data and diagram views. Use the control here to zoom in or out. All the imported tables are displayed here and we can drag or resize them. You can double click to change the name of the table right here. There are two icons here. You can use the first one to create hierarchies. We'll discuss that later. And this can be used to maximize the table. Can be useful for tables with many fields. Click again to restore. Next, we need to connect the related fields to each other. We discussed fact tables and dimension tables in the first video on Power Pivot. Please watch it if you haven't. The fact table typically includes a lot of numbers and metrics relating to an organization that can be used for calculations. The dimension table, on the other hand, is where we get information for the fact table. It is also known as the lookup table, and all the rows in the related column must be unique. In the enrollment data and school list, we have ID, so we can drag ID to ID. It doesn't matter where you drag from, it will display a line showing the connection. For enrollment data and funding table, we have grade as the related field, so we drag grade to grade. The funding table and school list have a related column each in common with the enrollment data. They have unique values which are related to the fact table. The enrollment data has many records relating to the funding table and the school list. This is known as a one-to-many relationship which is represented by the one and asterisk sign you see here. You can hover your mouse on the connection to view the fields that are related to each other. And you can double click on it as well to view the connection. Cancel. Now, if you switch over to the data view, you'll see an icon at the top of the column. You can double click to expand the column or just drag the borders when the pointer turns into a horizontal arrow. This icon indicates that there is a relationship with another column. Over your mouse on it and you'll see a description of the relationship. If you don't want a connection anymore, you can right click and delete. You have to be careful though, because you can undo it. In the next video, we'll create a pivot table with the data model.